so it's my second to last day um, in Madagascar. Um, we've taken this weekend to spend two days in Ampashura, which is where our captive bred collection of plowshare, tortoises and ray ray turtles are. Um, I'm here at the same time as Kitty, who's helping us out with communications in Madagascar at the minute, so it's been a brilliant opportunity to catch up with her. Um, tomorrow we're going to see the plowshare project and the ray rays, but today, because we're in a national park here, we decided to take the opportunity to go out with a guide into the national park. So we set off early this morning and so far we've seen a few different species of lemur. Um, we saw some safarka lemurs, common brown lemurs and also even though they're nocturnal there was a little spotted lemur dangling out of a tree. Um, we've seen lots of lizards, a couple of snakes and loads of birds which is great for Kitty because she's a bird geek. So it's now 20 past two and this afternoon we're going to go out onto the lake because Simeon has crocodiles in there and hopefully some fish eagles as well. And then we're going on a um, evening walk with a guide tonight because six out of the eight species of lemur in this national park are nocturnal. So I can't believe I've only got one and a bit days um, left because Monday is going to be all about travel. It's 10 hours from Ampujura to Tana where I'm going to be then flying at 1.30 on Tuesday morning. So it's a massive trip to get home and I can't say I'm really looking forward to that. And I can't say I'm looking forward to it being the end of my trip, but I've learnt so much and um, it's been one of the best experiences I've had in a very, very long time. Today I'm learning about the health checks required when preparing to release animals back into the wild. Because excitingly, we're about to release 20 of our plowshare tortoises back into the wild. In Apizulu, there is this uh, captive breeding of the plowshare, which was first established in uh, 1986 with around 18 founders. Now we've got 294 progenitor uh, and apart from that we've already released 45 tortoises now. And how are those tortoises doing in the wild? Do we keep tracks on them? Yes we do and they are doing very well. They, they have shown that they have uh, adapted very well to the wild conditions. They are growing well. Uh, they didn't develop any disease at all. So the only problem we had with them that what is that uh, uh, four of them were stone, and you could just find one of them. The three have just disappeared. So stealing tosses, this is an issue, is it? Ah, uh, it's a big issue for the project. Uh, the first. Uh, serious instance of that was in May 1996 and it happened here in Apizuru when 75 tortoises were stolen and uh, we could we were able to find 33 of them in the Netherlands and in Belgium I think so we have those back do we now in our no 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 uh, because Darrell at the time was afraid of a disease, the, the tortoises might have contracted somewhere. Uh, so uh, the Malagasy government decided to, to put them in one of their partners and they are still with that person now. And so what, what's the latest in terms of developments with the smuggling trade? Okay, since 2001, that is, well, at that time, there was a, another serious political crisis in Madagascar. But since then on, the, this uh, smuggling issue has gone bigger and bigger. 
and um, now we cannot say exactly how many is left in the wild. And how much would a Tartar sell for at, at the moment? Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> well, they say it's around 5,000 euros. The, the small one, 70 centimeters of carapace le length. Because um, sometimes oh, we hear, we, we can hear people saying that, uh, especially people from, the, from Asia, they are searching. They are really looking for those uh, babies, but apparently the carapace have an aphrodisiac virtue. And what do you think the next steps Doral could take to help with this issue? Uh, yeah, the next step is we are trying to renew the the agreement. There's a kind of agreement, official agreement that we we we've always had with the local communities in Bali Bay. So beyond the the end of this year. Before the end of this year, we, we're going to renew this agreement and uh, we'll do it in the Malagasy way, that is, we're going to kill a zebu and uh, this, uh, through this act, everybody who attends the meeting will be... how to say that? will be, be taken as responsible of whatever happened to the tortoises in that area. Mm. And we've got a group in quarantine at the moment. What will happen? Will they come to this uh, breeding centre when they're out of quarantine? Yeah, the, the, the babies. Mm. The babies must go to Ampizuru first. And uh, once they have something like two, two years old or 20, about 20 centimetres long, the, the carapace, then they, they can be released if their health is okay.